The latest now on the murder of eight-year-old Sandra Cantu. There is now an exclusive interview with the mother of a child who may have been drugged by the alleged killer. Reporter David Begno of our Sacramento station, KOVR, is in Tracy, California with the latest. Good morning, David. Good morning, Russ. As we told you yesterday, police are investigating another case that may be connected to Melissa Huckabee. She is the woman accused of murdering little Sandra Cantu. I have spoken exclusively with the mother of a seven-year-old girl who lives inside the mobile home park behind me, who says her daughter was drugged and kidnapped by Melissa Huckabee. I believe that if Tracy PD had looked into Melissa a lot more than what they did, that Sandra would possibly still be here. Her name is Laura, and she is the mother pointing the finger at Melissa Huckabee, her neighbor who is now accused of murdering little Sandra Cantu. I was shocked, like everybody, but I had kept telling them to look into Melissa Huckabee a little bit more. Laura says last January, Huckabee took her daughter to a local park without permission, and when she came home, her daughter could barely walk. Did she tell you if Melissa gave her a pill? No, she didn't know. Did you ask her? I asked her, but she said that the only thing that Melissa got for her was a water from Wendy's. Laura now questions why authorities didn't take her claims against Huckabee more seriously. I'm disappointed in them that they didn't look into Melissa a lot more than what they did. Uh, there was no probable cause to arrest anyone. When Huckabee was arrested for Sandra Cantu's murder, Laura was not surprised. You think she did it? I think she did. My gut feeling tells me that she did. And she believes her own daughter is lucky to be alive. I'm thankful that she's okay, and my heart goes out to Sandra's family. And so given what Laura says has happened to her daughter, police have told her she could very well be called as a witness in the Sandra Cantu murder case. Russ. David Begno of station KOVR in Sacramento. Great work. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.